Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. The other day I switched my main rig that I use for everything from a black NZXT H1 to a white NZXT H1. And that was because I'm changing my entire office to be white desks. Now, I thought it was a bit unfair that I was gonna go through all of this and refresh my own setup, whereas Claire's setup is looking a little bit uh, worse for wear. I mean, it's okay, but we haven't changed her desk since we moved in here about five years ago. So I thought it was time that I would do something nice as a husband and rebuild her setup for her. It's not a surprise, like she knows I'm doing it for her, but I wanna do something nice for her because she deserves it. So we went out and bought everything for her refresh setup and we're changing all of her tabletops to white as well. And I'm gonna show you a few little tricks and stuff along the way of how you can get some ideas to build your own battle station and make it as cheap as possible. So yeah, what do you reckon, Claire? Are you excited? Yeah, buddy. And the other thing is, I'm gonna do it all in about two hours. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Next minute, I'm probably gonna be filming this again tomorrow, but we're gonna see how quickly we can do it. Claire's setup is kind of like a mashup of just all things that we've added to it over the years. So we're gonna make this whole setup a bit more cohesive. So as I mentioned, we're going to replace these IKEA tabletops with white ones. But the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do it the way that I've kind of modified this one. Whereas we get two tabletops and we join them together and then we don't have to use certain table legs because we're not putting load on those tables. It's more just about having like a bit more of work area to place things down. It's not about having things support really heavy stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Before we do any of that though, we need to pull apart this entire setup. So we're gonna tear it all down, clean everything. We're gonna clean the PC. We're gonna kind of have a little planning session. Even though we bought everything already, we know what we're gonna do, but we're just gonna do that and pull it all apart. We're gonna take you guys along for as much of the ride as possible. So our time limit, what was it, Claire? Two hours? Two hours. Two hours. Start the clock now. Well, not really, because we're not gonna be timing it, but we wanna get it done as quickly as possible because we've got work to do. Claire shoots all the thumbnails and edits all of the stuff you see on social media. She needs her PC to be up and running. So we gotta do this as quickly as possible. I do some other stuff. Like what? Nothing. You don't do anything, apparently, according to the whole internet. You guys ready? Let's get naked. Let's get into it. The way that we're gonna connect both of the tabletops, because we're basically doing exactly the same setup as Claire had before, except with white tabletops, what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show this again when I do my office, is we're gonna use these galvanized brackets. These can be purchased from any hardware store, and there's probably gonna be some tradie or someone who does this for a living every day saying, that's not how you do it properly well. I've done this plenty of times, and I've never had a desk fail on me doing it this way. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect both of the tabletops like this underneath the table. So this will actually pull them together. And then this will be on the back edge because it's square. So this shouldn't make it all line up properly. So that's the idea. And uh, again, this is definitely not the best way of doing it because there's never a best way when you're on the internet, but this way has worked for me in the past. So I'm just gonna use that technique again. This is the most compromising angle ever, but I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm gonna do with that right angled bracket to make it square. Basically, I'm just gonna line it up with one of the holes that for the legs and just drill it in and put a bunch of screws in just to make the whole thing square. Then I'm gonna put the bracket in across uh, this edge here to make it all level. And yeah, that's uh, the most ghetto way to do it, but it does work. I have done it before. It's probably not the, uh, the recommended way, 
but it does definitely do the job and it is actually quite strong. The reason why I'm showing you this now is I'm gonna skip all of this part when I do my office rebuild. So if you wanna reference this for how I'm doing it in my office rebuild, this is the way that I'm joining all the tabletops together. So I'm in my sexiest pose, ladies and gents. Yeah, ladies and gents uh, we actually stopped last night because we started at like nine o'clock finished at like 10 we didn't want to piss the neighbors off by using our drill and making noise even though they probably couldn't hear it but you know being considerate and everything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up today there's not that much to do we basically you just need to put everything back together but I wanted to show you guys a few little cable management things you can grab on Amazon I'll put links in the description you can grab these little uh, if I can use my hands these little Velcro straps, they have little holes and eyelets on them so you can loop them through each other. It's really good for just tying cables down to things. Actually quite a nice little thing. Been using these for years, really cheap. I think it's like five or $10 for like 50 or a hundred or something. And these little things. Now they're like, they, it's kind of like a pencil case with uh, the ends tied off. And basically the way it works is it's got a zip and you can zip around your cables like so for cable management. And the material's a stretch kind of material like, like wetsuit material, I'd say. Yeah, it just makes really nice clean cable runs for under your desk or into your power strip or whatever you wanna use it for. These are great. And these can get expensive, so I think it's about $20 for like eight or four or something like that, but really handy if you want a really clean look. One thing that we didn't film, but maybe we did film, I think we did film a bit of it, was putting the monitors on the visa arms and the visa mounts. Uh, but yeah, we, we did all that. I did all the cable management behind the monitors already. I did, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't film that, but it's time to put it all back together now. So. Claire needs to do some work. She needs to do her Instagram post for the morning and no, yeah. it's sitting on her computer ready to go. <laughs> that's all I do. Yeah, that's all you do. You don't know how to use any computers or anything, Claire. No. Nope. The internet tells you that every day. Yeah. Okay, let's get stuck into it. You ready? Not really. Yay, not really, me too, yay. Coffee. Um, coffee didn't wake me up today at all. This is kind of a CES tie-in actually, but Coolmaster is releasing a bunch of new mouse pads. So this is one of their new ones, the MP511XL. This is something that they're gonna be showing off with their CES showcase. And it's made from a splash resistant material. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm just letting you guys know that it exists. And because we have one, we're gonna use it for Claire's new setup. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give Claire a new mouse pad. She's always had like 10 different random mouse pads stacked on top of each other for ages. And I figured that it was time to give her something brand new. I think this is about the right size, Claire. What do you reckon? Yeah. 
We'll see. Well, like, it's, it's the same size as the one we've got on the streaming setup. Yeah. I just, it's always a random mix of hand-me-downs though. But that's much better. That's much better. What do you think? Yeah, it's cool. I like that. It's much, much better. Look how nice that looks. And no, I, I wouldn't recommend doing a white mouse pad with a white setup because it just gets really dirty. White peripherals, I don't like them. They get filthy. Yeah, they're just grubby. What do you reckon? Grubby? Yeah. Grubby. Absolutely. White keyboards with the keycaps, they just get really grubby. Even if you clean your hands all the time, grubby. Okay, everything's put together now, but before we talk about everything, I think it's only fair if we engage cinematic mode. Let's do it. Now that all the cinematic stuff is out of the way, let's chat a little bit about a few things that we did off camera. And I actually put little cards in the video to talk about things that we did off camera as well. So make sure you go back and watch that because there is like maybe five cards that explain different things at different stages of the video. But one thing that we didn't talk about was this little shelf here. Uh, Claire likes having this type of little shelf under her monitor. I've actually got one in my setup as well. I like them too because over time you can just add things to them. So I've actually ordered Claire a new card reader, like the way I've got it in my office. I'm going to mount a card reader underneath here as well. There's also a few other little things. I bought Claire a, a different mouse pad. Like, so this Cooler Master one that we showed in the video, it's like part of their CES lineup or whatever. Uh, she wanted something slightly bigger, so I got her something funky on Amazon. Uh, stay tuned to our Instagram because I'm pretty sure she's going to go ham taking photos of her cool new mouse pad. It actually is arriving tomorrow. If we delayed the video by a day, then you probably would have seen it. I'll actually uh, put an Amazon link to the mouse pad that I got for Claire. You guys are going to love it. It's really, really cool. It's so very Claire. So yeah, it's a bit bigger. It's like a custom design. It goes with this setup. Again, if you want to build a shelf like this, I'll try and put some parts in the description so you can get an idea of how we do it. It's, it's super cheap. Something like this uh, costs probably about $15 to make. And if your monitor's on a monitor stand or something like that, it actually makes a nice additional little kind of nook for storage and stuff like that. I like them basically, like, like I already said, because you can mount stuff to it. I, um, I don't like putting stuff here. I do it in my setup, but it becomes really, really messy because I've got like SD cards and uh, hard disks and all the stuff we film with and USB sticks and all that stuff. And sometimes a GoPro or two just hanging out there for months at a time that I don't use. But yeah, just stuff everywhere and I don't like it. So I've got myself a bunch of drawers and stuff in my office now. But yeah, this is not about me. This is about Claire's setup. And that being said, the way that this has come together, it's for Claire. Like I know people are gonna nitpick things and they're gonna be like, oh, you should have done this this way or whatever. But who cares? It's for Claire. She's, she, she doesn't care and she's happy with it. 
I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It actually came out a lot nicer than I thought it would. And the thing is as well with this, it gives me an idea of how much light is gonna get reflected from these desks when I end up doing my office too, because I'm using the exact same tabletops in my office doing basically exactly the same thing. So sometime next week, you're gonna see the same video again, but on a way bigger scale. This is, this is, the, uh, this is the warm up to my office, which has like three whole setups in it. And yeah, that's gonna be a complete nightmare. All those parts for my setup arrive tomorrow, but we've got more CES stuff to get through. So we've had to wait because they've uh, delayed some launches of some stuff to like a little bit later in the week. So we're like, hey, we need to do something this week to share some cool stuff with you guys. And yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see the build for Claire's PC, it's one of our most viewed videos on the entire channel. Top right hand corner right now. You can check out that video. It's in the NZXT H210i in white, mm -hmm. but you, you've probably seen it from the video as well. And people are going to be like, oh, yeah. Really it's play. fine guys chill out uh yeah i'll put heaps of like links and stuff to everything that like most of the stuff that we use all the cable management stuff i'm going to cover some more of it in the, when i do my video as well for my setup some of the stuff i'm not going to cover like connecting the tables together i'll reference this video and that one so if people want to know how we did it they can see it but yeah that's it i'm done uh i'm your winning with gear seekers you peak we seek Hope everybody enjoyed seeing me in my pajamas. Yeah, am I a good husband? Did yeah, I do a you're good thing? Right. You're a good egg. I, I did notice though when I was uh, editing, I am so thick. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I made a promise to you guys at the end of 2019 that I was going to look after my health a bit better. I've started again, yeah. like properly. It's not a New Year's resolution or just some rubbish people work. spew. I've been. I started like at the start of December and then Christmas came and I ate the world and then I was just like uh yeah I need to get back onto what I was doing at the start of December so I am losing weight I've lost about three kilos so far but I'm so thick still I just need to get to the point where I'm skateboarding more but the restrictions that we keep getting with the pandemic here in Sydney it's like I'm just sketched out about going to the skate park basically because because I don't I don't just don't trust people that's all it is but when school holidays and all the kids are back at school I'm gonna go like every day. And um, we're gonna go roller skate. I bought Claire roller skates for Christmas. So I'm very bad at it. No, you're all right. I bought her because she always like, there's this girl that lives in your house and she always like roller skates around the place and Claire's like, I want to roller skate. So, uh, yeah. I'm not a stalker. She's not a stalker. She just wanted to roller skate. She's like, I've always wanted to do that. And I'm like, okay. And then I didn't tell her that I surprised her with roller skates or Christmas and she cried. It, yeah, was, it, it was funny. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you got to this part of the video, Thanks so much for watching and say congrats to Claire for a new setup. And now I won't oh, post pictures oh. of my roller If you watch this part of the video, the total price for doing like everything that we did was like 150 bucks. What about the mental price of us arguing over it? We didn't argue, so that's a lie. Thanks for watching, or is it? <laughs> Get off my chair.